Hey guys, in this tutorial, we will see how to integrate your particle system with PCG. So you can see these PCG points and these particles are spawning on that. If I sculpt this here, you can see it will update and we can do it like here, or here, too much. And it will update on these points and this looks really cool. You can populate your fire, you can populate your grass, you can populate anything on the PCG points. So this will be a quick, quick tutorial. So let's start this. So let's start this. So first you have to go to plugins. So I will just go to plugins and search here PCG and you will find this procedural content generation framework. Just turn this on and restart your engine. I don't want to save map, so I'll just. So I have restarted engine and right click and there's a PCG uh, option here now. So first in the map, what I'll do, I'll just make a landscape and just create flat for now. We can sculpt it later. So let me show you. So I have this uh, surface and I'll just go to selection now. And now let it compile. So I'll just right click here and go to PCG and create a PCG graph. Uh, I'm assuming you already know PCG, that's why you are here. You just want to see how to integrate Niagara into the PCG. So this is not PCG tutorial basically, but uh, how to integrate with Niagara. And because I'm also learning this, so uh, video by video, I will learn new things and just keep sharing with you guys. So I'll just create this and I'll just take this default and just initialize with the temple. You can call it anything, you can rename it. So I'll just open this and just close this plugin. Here you have this input output. You can do lots of things, but we have here landscape. So I'll just take this, get landscape data. And after this, I will just sample. I will just take the surface sampler. And from this, I just want some points. So I will just transform points, okay? And which node you want to preview in the viewport, you can just right click and debug or you can just press D. So there will be this uh, cyan color uh, round uh, circle. So this will be now uh, work. And you can also connect it here in the output like this. And you can also press D on this one if you don't want this. Okay, like this. So if you drag it into the viewport, there's a bounding box like you can see all so these points this bounding box kind of uh, thing uh, and these points are now scattering on the surface and now if your surface is like if I go to the again here and sculpt and go back now see it's working on that so that they are just uh, on that surface they are generating these points and if your points not visible you can just select your PCG and generate it from here or you can just force generation from here. Although it should uh, do that automatically. Now the question is how to spawn your particle on these points. So this is what you will learn in this. It's very simple. So oops, let me just make a very simple Niagara here. I'll just make a Niagara and I'll take the fountain. You can call it anything or just leave it like this. And just to preview it better, I'm just making it red, nothing else. And that's it for now. So I'll just, this is here, just save it. And here in the PCG, after the transform point, you have to search spawn actor and connect here. And it will give you an error. And why it's giving you an error? Because it needs a blueprint uh, actor. And that will you have to connect here. You can use this template or you can make your own. So if I make my own, right click here and I'll take the blueprint class actor. You can call it anything and select this and go to PCG and just pick it here. And the order error gone. And now you will notice one thing here. Uh, if I press G, it should give you some points here although but it's okay it's not game so what i'll do now uh, in the blueprint i will add my niagara and that's it for now so if i select this niagara and here if i type niagara 
it will take automatically selected so my particles now inside the blueprint and it should spawn like this uh, let it make it a little more uh, visible so i'll just make the delete this maybe just linear 500 or maybe 1000 i don't want gravity so it's just a single line and now you can see so this is now all working cool and now you can tweak your landscape if you want to check so you can see and now one issue is spawning here but is not uh, spawning at the very top see so for that you have to scale your pcg on the z axis turn this off and scale it should have that surface and now it will regenerate cool so this is very quick tutorial it's my first tutorial of pcg and niagara integration and i will make a series if i'll keep learning things if i'll get time so i will just keep uh, making tutorials for you guys so i hope this is it for now thanks bye take care